All right, buenos dias, bom dia, good morning, my friends, mi amigos. All right, I'm going to go over this video by Tony the Baptist, and I'm going to show you the error, and then hopefully make it real easy for you to know the truth. All right, so I'm going to give it a shot. First of all, let's listen to Tony the Baptist. What's it like to die? Well, I'm a Christian, so I'm obviously going to... What's it like to die? Now, this you'll notice this guy talks really fast, okay? Talks really fast. I, so I'm going to slow it down and make it real easy. What's it like to die? All right, let, What's it like to die? Well, I'm a Christian, so I'm obviously going to give you an answer according to the Bible. The Bible teaches that if you're saved, meaning you believed on Jesus Christ... Uh... Hold on a second. According to the Bible. I, the Bible teaches that if you're saved, meaning you believed on Jesus Christ exclusively for salvation, death will carry out as follows. According to the Bible. The Spirit there it is. According to the Bible. According to the Bible, he says. According to the Bible, the Spirit will depart from the body and be immediately transported into the presence of God. No purgatory, no soul sleep. Skip all that. Straight to heaven. All right, so... Let me just go over what he says here. According to the Bible, when you die, your spirit departs from your body and is immediately transported straight to heaven. All right, now, if you were to watch the rest of this 56-second video, you would, you would see that he says that if you're not saved, then your spirit departs from the body and goes immediately straight to hell. According to the Bible, according to Tony the Baptist. The problem is, it's not in the Bible. Unless he has a different Bible than what I got, it's not in the Bible. Even though he said, according to the Bible, it's not in the Bible. In fact, I want you to think about that for a second. When you die, he says, your spirit departs from your body and immediately is transported to heaven or to hell. If you're saved, you go to heaven. If you're not saved, you go to hell. All right, so I just want you to take a second to think about that. Here, let me do this. I want you to think what it's like when you die. According to Tony the Baptist, when you die, if you're saved, your body immediately is transported to heaven. Now, if you're not saved, then your spirit is immediately transported to hell. Did I say that right? If you're saved, your spirit is immediately transported to heaven. If you're not saved, your spirit is immediately transported to hell. All right, so if you don't, if you're not going to heaven, then you're going to hell. According to Tony, the Baptist. So, upon your death, If you don't immediately go to heaven, then you must be in hell. Acts chapter 2, verse 34. For David is not ascended into the heavens. So... According to Tony the Baptist, David must have went to hell. Must not be saved. It, it, does that make any sense to you? Or is that what you believe? Aha! Gotcha, right? That's an aha gotcha moment. And aha! 
gotcha, Tony the Tiger, you don't know what you're talking about. You got a nice fancy suit. Look at that. That's at least a hundred dollars, ain't it? I don't know what kind of suit that is. I've never worn a suit that nice. I've never worn a suit, period. He's got the handkerchief. He's got the ring. He's got the watch. He's got the hundred dollar haircut. Nice shoes, a leather couch. He got it all. He got it all. Except he ain't got this. All right, because number one, he he says according to the Bible, but he can't show you anywhere in the Bible to support this idea. Let's see if I can real quickly run down this. Uh, it is a, uh, appointed unto man once to die, and then after this, the judgment. Okay, so when what happened here? Uh, I don't know what the Bible says. Apparently. It, men? Is it men? Is that what it, is that what it is? Uh, unto men, not man. That, that makes a big difference. Okay. It is appointed unto men once to die and after this the judgment. So when you die, that's it. You're dead. You don't know anything else. You're not sitting in the waiting room waiting for a nurse to come get you to take you to the doctor to heal you. That's not going on anywhere at all. When you're dead, you're dead. All right, so purgatory, that's not in the Bible. Soul sleep, that's not in the Bible. These are man-made terms. So there's no reason at all to argue purgatory and soul sleep. What does the Bible say? Right? That's what matters. It don't matter what man-made terms mean. And that would be my argument when you use purgatory and soul sleep. How do you define these terms? All right, and why would you have those definition of those terms matter more than what the Word of God actually says? All right, so let's go to Daniel chapter 2. All right, or at 12 or whatever. Let's go somewhere in the Bible. Just pick a verse here. Verse 2. Many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. There's no mention at all whatsoever of people being in he heaven at all. This is talking about the judgment day, the end of the world. The judgment that happens at the end of the world. Some of them, that, many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to everlasting shame, or everlasting contempt, contempt, whatever. Okay, so you get it. You got it. So now, I want you to consider this here. Did I show you this? Did I talk about this already? According to Tony's uh, teaching, well, David must be in hell because he didn't go to heaven. And then Jesus must be saying that nobody is saved. All your loved ones, they, they all went to hell. Because Jesus says, No man has ascended up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man which is in heaven, meaning only Jesus has been saved. Because he's the only one that's ascended to heaven. Right? Now let's go to 1 Thessalonians. I mean, really, there's a lot of places that we can go to. First Thessalonians 4. All right. The Lord himself shall descend from heaven with the shout of the voice of the archangel, with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. The dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord again when we die. That, we're, that's it. We're dead. We don't know nothing until Judgment Day. 
all right I, I don't know why that's a problem I know it's a problem when you're trying to pedal your BS but why would that be a problem for you who is born of the Spirit of God that is saved sealed secured sanctified forever it's not a problem at all okay all right so again when we die we don't know anything at all we're not sitting in a waiting room not hanging out with buddies we're not playing again you know sitting at a table playing cards and that sort of thing so let's go to John chapter 3 now I want you to consider this and, I'll, and then I'll close it out okay verse 13 and no man has ascended up to heaven but he that came down from heaven even the son of man which is in heaven so Jesus is the only one who's ascended to heaven now why is that well pretty simple it's very simple Jesus is God manifest in the flesh Jesus is God Almighty he came into the flesh into our body that we're in right now and he has led the way for us remember Jesus says I am the way and the truth and the life remember that Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes unto the Father but by me. Remember that? Jesus is the way. You notice all those times when Jesus talks about follow me, right? Follow me because he's leading the way. All right? He's leading the way we see we read this over and over and over he said unto them follow me all right follow me all right so Jesus is leading the way so he has came into our body he has done the works of God and offered presented himself as the sacrifice for the sins of the whole world and he went into the grave and then ascended I'm sorry then resurrected from the grave all right so we're all going where he went all right so if we follow him we're gonna go to the grave and then Jesus resurrected from out of the grave. So are we going to follow him? We that are born of God will follow him. He has resurrected from the dead. And we that follow him, we're going to resurrect from the dead also. And then Jesus ascends to heaven. So, also, when we are resurrected, then we will ascend to heaven to meet the Lord in the air. Those that don't follow him, they will resurrect, but not ascend to heaven at the end of the world, which is the judgment of God. Are you saved? Are you not saved? That's the judgment. There is no other judgment. That's it. That's the judgment that happens at the end of the world. So we that follow him will follow him at the last day. We will be resurrected and ascend up into heaven to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord and this is very important because of verse 17 or 18 it says wherefore comfort one another with these words right and then also another parallel is 
1 Corinthians 15, when we are transformed into our glorified bodies, all right, raised shall be raised incorruptible at the last trump, at the end of the world. We shall be raised incorruptible, sown in corruption and raised incorruptible. All right, for this corruptible must put on incorruption and this mortal shall have put on immortality. This is what happens at the end of the world and when this happens that judgment right at those that are saved those that are not saved the those that are not saved they die the second death and then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written death is swallowed up in victory there's no more death for us and all the unsaved die the second death so that's it that's it it's that simple it really is it this what I'm teaching you here is, is from Genesis to Revelation all throughout the Bible it's the same thing it's very simple you just have to have eyes to see it. You don't need a big fancy suit. All you have to do is have faith. Alright, that's it.